हेलो क्लास नाइन्थ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस प्रिंसिपल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द अजर्टिव और रेडिकल नेशनलिस्ट मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स फेथ इन स्वराज ब्रिटिश सेंस ऑफ जस्टिस द ब्रिटिश पॉलिसी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्सप्लोइेशन सपोर्टेड द स्वदेशी गुड्स स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मासिस बिफोर द डिस्कशन वी मस्ट नो द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स लाइक स्वराज सेल्फ रूल एक्सप्लोइेशन टेकिंग अनफेयर एडवांटेजेस Swadeshi use the goods which are manufactured in your own country imported goods goods belong to the foreign countries constructive works works which are having the useful purposes passive resistance non violent opposition to authority culture the ideas customs and the social behavior of a specific group or society today we will discuss about the principal objectives of the assertive nationalist the main objective of assertive nationalist was the freedom is the birth right of every indian it means freedom is the fundamental right of everyone for this right assertive nationalist wanted to drive the english out of india and wanted to establish the government by indians because they believed in swaraj means self rule for them swaraj was the solution of all the problems of the indians they wanted to protect the indian culture because they believed in the supremacy of the indian culture for the protection of the indian culture they wanted to uproot the british rule from india now let's come to the reading part principles objectives of the assertive radical nationalist the central principle objectives of the assertive radical nationalist was a freedom of the birth right of every indian assertive nationalists as we have discussed those who were against the constitutional methods and they were dominating leaders from 1905 to 1919 they wanted to drive the english out of the country india and establish a government by the indians because they believed that swaraj was the only solution for the problems of indians they believed in the supremacy of indian culture and to protect the indian culture it was necessary to uproot the british rule from india they held the english responsible for the downfall of indian culture as we discussed supremacy means state of being superior culture ideology of custom and social behavior they had no faith in the british sense of justice and fair play Moreover assertive nationalists had no faith in the British sense of justice and fair play assertive nationalists were not loyal towards british policy of political repression and economic exploitation british policy of political repression means act of controlling the citizen by force economic exploitation means taking unfair advantages in the field of production and consumption they supported the swadeshi goods against the imported goods they wanted to encourage the indian system of education education means giving the moral and intellectual education they had faith in constructive work and moral progress of the strength of masses on the other hand they did not believe in the constitutional means to achieve their aims constitutional means related to the established set of principles moreover constructive work means have a useful purpose moral progress means improvement in the moral belief to achieve swaraj swaraj means self rule they wanted to follow the policy of passive resistance vigorous political agitation continuous struggle passive resistance means non violent opposition to the authority vigorous political action means strong administrative action continuous struggle means regular and forceful efforts now let's come to the remaining reading part as we have discussed the assertive nationalists had no faith in the british sense of justice and fair play they were not loyal to british policy of political repression the Rep- political repression means act of controlling by force or economic exploitation taking unfair advantages in the field of production and consumption they supported the swadeshi goods goods manufactured in your own country against the use of imported goods goods belong to foreign country they wanted to encourage the indian system of education they had faith in constructive work 
and moral progress of Indians. They had great faith in the strength of masses, means they were believing in the strength of Indians. Moreover, they did not believe in adopting the constitutional means to achieve their aims. To achieve Swaraj, they wanted to follow the policy of passive resistance, vigorous political action and continuous struggle. Passive resistance means not to give any opposition to the authority. Vigorous political uh, action means that is a strong administrative policy. Continuous struggle means regular forceful efforts the Indians have to do for getting their freedom. They have to fight for their struggle through the assertive methods. Children, today we will do till here and you will have to reread this part again and follow the snap homework. Thank you.